Crabman here from Crabman Gaming. Today we'll be playing WWF Smackdown Just Bring It Story Mode with Spike Dudley. Now I have a special playthrough to do for you today. This is playthrough number 31 on my playthrough of all the characters. What we're going to try to do today is start as a tag team, yet go on to win the Intercontinental title. So this is a very interesting, um, a very interesting one you can do. So Vince McMahon comes out, offers for you to be in a tag team. So we're gonna see who's available. I wonder if you have Bubba or Devon available to be tag team partners with. Here's Vinny. Yep, give me a tag team title shot, please. Has been tag team champion before, has Spike Dudley. I'm a fair man. If you can find a partner, we'll talk about your tag team matchup. I wonder who to choose, Bubba or Devon. My favorite of the two was always Bubba Dudley. Here's the start of Raw. Let's see who we've got available. Oh, no Bubba or Devon. All right, well, we actually need to lose. We always get put into a TLC match on Raw for reasons I don't really understand. So we've got Hardcore Holly, We've got Billy Gunn, the one Billy Gunn. Uh, where's Kane? Kane should be here. There he is, the big red machine. But we're going to team up with Stephen Richards so that we can lose this match nice and quickly. Not even Taz, future tag team champion with Taz. He wasn't there to be selected. Hey, Stephen Richards, from ECW Pal. Are you down to help me out tonight and be my tag team partner? He sure will be. Why not? Stevie would love a tag team title shot. I don't know how many tag team title shots Stevie got during his career. All right, nothing really much to do here than go and speak to Stevie and start the TLC match. Let's go wild. Oh, Stevie, you're so exciting. And I'll edit that out. So I'll get to the beginning of the match. I'll edit to the end. And then it should take us into the Intercontinental title pathway, which is its really the only way you can get to a singles title from this tag team storyline. So here are our opponents, the Radicals. Spike's entrance. Love the entrance music. It took me years to realize there was actually a little bit of music behind there. Here's the Radicals entrance. And they just have some uh, generic entrance, but they've got their own Tron and music, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to edit this to the end and you will see the video again at the conclusion of this match. Here we go. And what a Saturn and Steven are competing continually. The pinfall into the match. And that is all. It's the end of the match. We've lost the TLC match. Unsurprising as I didn't provide any offense at all. Radicals are your winners. Attention. No, we don't want a rematch. We're going after the tag team titles. Don't even bother trying. We won't. I want to get my hands on the Intercontinental Championship. Stevie, you are a terrible partner. So Spike Dudley, three-time tag team champion in his career. Let's move on to SmackDown. Two-time tag team champion with Balls Mahoney, ECW tag team champion, and one-time tag team champion with Taz in WWF. Here comes Dean Malenko. He will challenge the current WWF champion. It's hard to believe people are talking about me and Spike Dudley, who's closest to a World Wrestling Federation. They've missed out the light heavyweight part there. Title shot. 
I'm the only one who deserves a shot at the World Wrestling Federation light heavyweight title. And then you're going to stay backstage because if you come out, that will put you on the path for the WWF title. So really quite interesting. You don't really have to do the match before on Raw and to get a WWF title shot, you can lose a four-way or you can lose a TLC match and then just come to SmackDown and win one match and suddenly you're the number one contender for WrestleMania. You're smarter than I thought, Spike Dudley. It was a good decision for you to just give up. I'll be getting the World Wrestling Federation title now. The Rock versus Dean Malenko at WrestleMania 17. It's what all the people want to see. I don't even think Dean Malenko was on WrestleMania 17. I think he was um, in Eddie Guerrero's corner for the Eddie Guerrero vs. Test match. Spike Dudley, William Regal is waiting for you. Now, William Regal gives you the option of a few championships, so hopefully he'll give me the option of the IC title. But if it's just the Euro title or the light heavyweight title, I'll just go for one of those. I haven't actually won the Intercontinental title yet in, in the 31 playthroughs. It's been quite an elusive um, title. Even though he says you need to find Regal, Regal's actually not in his office. So if you go in here... It says Regal's looking for you, but he's not. What you actually need to do is go and speak to Earl first. And then he'll give you the option of going for the Hardcore Championship. Hey, Earl Hebner. You can say, go for the Hardcore title, or you can just ask him how he is. Hi Hebner, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. By the way, William Regal is looking for you. Should be the next line. Despite not being in his office, two minutes earlier. The Commissioner. You get sent straight to the Commissioner's office and he'll offer you a title shot. Oh, there you are. You're interested in the Intercontinental title, aren't you? I definitely am. It's finally time to get the Intercontinental title off Chris Jericho. So you can go there or you can ask for a light heavyweight title shot, but I'm going to go for the Intercontinental title shot and then I'll defend it at the pay-per-view if I win. Although Chris Jericho is quite a tough opponent, that's fantastic. Please, by all means, get ready for the match and don't disappoint me. Intercontinental title. Y2J's had a stranglehold on the belt. He doesn't want to let it go. He's quite a tough opponent in the game. Especially with Spike Dudley, it might be a little bit difficult. But I'll give it my best shot. Tip is not to get too distracted. The Ayatollah of rock and roller, Chris Jericho, facing Spike Dudley. He's countering a lot of these moves. Is that nice back elbow? Spike Dudley also won a few titles in the WWF that weren't as part of a tag team. He won the European title from William Regal in a match that lasted about five seconds. He ran down to the ring, got the nuts out of the turnbuckle, knocked Regal out, and became champion. And he was, I think, about an eight-time hardcore champion. I don't think he ever really held the title for any length of time. It was when they would switch the title many times in one night, a bit like they do with the 24-7 title now. And I think... Oh, and he was also the cruiserweight champion as well when he was the 
boss of the Dudley Boys. Just before the Dudley Boys um, time in the WWE came to an end on SmackDown where Spike was the boss and he was the Cruiserweight Champion until about December of 2004. There's a really good match at Survivor Series 2004. It's a four-way for the Cruiserweight title with... I'll try and remember everybody who's in it, but it's Spike. I think it's Chavo, Billy Kidman, and someone that I can't remember. But a good match. Maybe Shane Helms? I, c I don't know. Is might have been going... Or Gregory Helms. I don't think it was Gregory Helms. I can't remember. But anyway. That's uh, a Crabman recommended match. Actually, no, I've got my favourite Spike Dudley match. You can have a look and watch this on the WWE Network. I used to have this on DVD. My very favourite Spike Dudley match of all is Guilty as Charged 2000. Mike Awesome defending the ECW Heavyweight title in the main event against LSD, Little Spike Dudley. Tremendous match. If you don't mind the use of a few tables, this could be it very early. Wow, that is it! Spike wins in a minute 44. New Intercontinental Champion. That was rapid. Okay, now is that the end of his story or can I defend it on the pay per view? I'm not sure. The Euro title, that's just the end. Spike Dudley did a great job of winning the Intercontinental title. Those subtitles went really quick. Spike Dudley capturing the Intercontinental title for the first time. Let's save it later. Is that... That's the end of his story. So thanks for watching. Tune in. Story 32 will be Stephanie McMahon. Thanks for watching.